First thing in stamping a piece of leather is wetting it down, and I usually just use a sponge to go over it. This piece of leather is actually already wet, and you can tell it doesn't look very different than the dry piece that I've got here with it. I wet this down a few minutes ago, and I've let it soak in. And now it's started to look basically almost dry again, but it still feels wet when you touch it. It still feels kind of cold and damp. That's where you want it when you're going to be stamping. If it's completely soaked like you've just wet it down, you're going to get mushy impressions that are going to be blurry. They don't look right. Now a basket weave tool, which is this little one here, is one of the basic stamps that I use a lot. And it's easy to work with because you can just lay down a straight line. And I just use the tool itself and kind of tilt it up on an angle and use the two points of the tool to make a set of parallel lines along the ruler. And once I've got those lines laid out, you can start stamping just by fitting in on that line. And then you want to stamp the next impression. You want to slide up until you hit that center part of the stamp with your corner and go next to the line. And you should get nice sharp impressions like that. Now the reason you want to slide up until you hit that is so that you wind up with these lines in the center lined up with each other. It's pretty easy to get it straight going this way, but to get all your impressions to where these center lines line up as well is where basket weave gets really tricky. Now when you get your near your edges, I've got a line marked out where my border is going to be. And you know that your stamp's going to start hanging over that border. You need to start tilting it to the side a little bit. and doing partial impressions. Now you can see I got a little bit of wobble in it. But for the most part they're lining up straight this way as well as this way. And that's what, like I said, is really hard to get and what really needs a lot of practice is getting your basket weave to line up straight every which different direction, not just straight the one. And once you've got it all the way out to the partial impressions around the border, then you go to a border tool of some sort. Um, I like this 436 a lot of times, but you can also just use almost any camouflager around the edge. And those tools are simple. You just kind of line up on the line. I use the bottom of this inside of this crescent along the line, and then I'll destroy the line too while I'm at it. And if you notice, I'm actually using a little bit of a toe impression instead of a heel impression. And by that I mean I'm going towards these points. I'm leaning that direction. The heel of the tool is this outer part, this outer round crescent part. And if you lean it a bit towards the toe, then it sort of fades out a little bit more. And I can also feel when I hit that line with it. So I'm actually, I can feel it drop into that line each time. So that's how I'm keeping my impressions in a nice straight line. Or in this case, a nice curved line and following along. And one last thing I like to do with basket weave and patterns similar to this is I like to use these glass burnishers. I don't know if they're available still or not, but basically it's just a piece of glass with the edges that are all rounded out and smooth. And you'll just kind of go over it and the idea is that these impressions, sometimes as you press the leather down, it sort of squishes up and off to the sides a little bit. And so you wind up with the whole thing kind of mushed out a little bit more than it needs to be. 
and you can smooth it all back down to a nice level surface by just going over it with this piece of glass. And sort of even out some of those impressions that are a little bit different. It makes it look a little better and it definitely makes it feel nicer. You don't have any raised spots.